Hey guys, I'm back. Time to jump into some more Sonic 3 and Knuckles by making our way through Mushroom Hill Zone. So, here we are. We have finally reached the Sonic and Knuckles level. If you were to play Sonic, Sonic and Knuckles, Mushroom Hill serves as your basic introductory level. The only difference between Mushroom Hill and the rest of the introductory levels in earlier Sonic games is the fact that, well, as you can see here, we can bounce off mushrooms! That's it! There's nothing overly fantastic about this level. Other than that, before I proceed any further, there's one thing I would like to note. This is going to be a bloody long episode. The main reason for this is the fact that I intend to go after all the Super Emeralds. So, with that out of the way, let's proceed onward. So, as we can see here, Knuckles hid... Yeah, I can't talk tonight. Anyway, as you can see here, Knuckles has hidden a giant ring. No doubt you can notice that this giant ring is actually very different from the ones that we encountered in earlier levels. Instead of being a dull yellow, it is actually shining all the colors of the Chaos Emeralds. If you enter this giant ring, we'll be taking the Hidden Pilot Zone. Here we are, the Super Emerald Challenge. One thing to note about the Super Emerald Challenge is the fact that it is completely optional. You can actually proceed through the entire game and not collect any of the Super Emeralds. In order to access any good ending of the game, all you really need is either all seven Chaos Emeralds or all seven Super Emeralds. So, with that out of the way, let's proceed onward. I intend to shake up the formula of the Super Emerald Challenge a bit. I intend to basically go through the special stages that I had the most trouble with first. We'll start with this one. Now on first note, this doesn't look very hard. And for the most part, it's not really hard. It's very tedious, especially if you want to try to perfect it. In order to perfect it, you need 144 rings. And that can get very hard to do as you start speeding up, because you need to make some very precise turns. And the Sega team decided to sadistically place units of four in your way. Also, one thing to note, we have the introductory of the orange spheres. As you can see, the orange spheres catapult you across the screen. Now, this can be very helpful if you need to get somewhere really quick, but this can also hinder you as you can face plant some red spheres. And face planting red spheres doesn't do anybody any good. <sighs> oh, fine. Ah. And yes, the bumpers are being annoying as usual. Come on, I'd like to get done with this one. Actually, I'd like to get done with all of them, so I can proceed on to the next episode. As you can tell, I am very frustrated, and the reason why I am frustrated is the fact that I have tried to record this several times now. I would like to be very much done with this episode. Alright, that's out of the way. And here we go. I get to run around for a bit. No, it's not there. Please do not be the death of me. Ah. 
Stay calm, Six. No, it's not there. There we go. Okay, that one is out of the way. Anyway, to access the next giant ring, we need to stay on the top path here. Be wary of enemies. They are sadistically placed throughout this route to basically hinder every bit of progress you intend to make. No, you are not hitting me with that mushroom and sending me flying backwards. That is out of the question. Ahaha. <laughs> no! Uh, well, that was unintentional. Technically, we don't need to be on the top path to access the next um, giant ring. It's just easier to access it if you stay on the top path. If you stayed on the top path, all you'd have to do is drop down here rather than um, fling yourself across the gap. Anyway, the next one is this one. Yes, you can tell I am very frustrated. This one isn't particularly too hard. It just has a lot of, um, um, how do I put it? Single groups, as you can see here. And you have to make very precise turns. Well, I won't be perfecting that one. Oh well. Yeah, I'm really not on my game today. But that's okay. I guess it doesn't really matter if I perfect them. As long as I get the Super Emerald. Although, if anybody's really interested, after I complete um, Tails' Sonic and Knuckles' storyline, I actually intend to perfect all the special stages, including the two that can only be accessed via level select. So, there are technically 16 special stages. Only 14 is shown in the game. That is, if anybody's interested. Anyway, in order to access the next giant ring, just go, stay on the lower path, and head to your right. It's actually right here.
I apologize for not talking too much throughout these special stages. It's mainly because I want to concentrate. These special stages are actually harder than the Sonic 3 variety. And they're very easy to screw up on. As you can see on that last one, I had to make some very precise turns. One delay in your reflexes and you're going to be kicked out of the special stage. Anyway, to access the next giant ring in this one... Slow, 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 thank you. You want to jump off this vine here and go to your right. Ignore this enemy. And voila! We'll go with this one. Okay, four down, three more to go. That's pretty much all the giant rings that I know of in Act 1. Hopefully I can access... the other three in Act 2. As far as I know, there are seven giant rings in Mushroom Hill Zone. Well, eight if you uh, are playing as Knuckles. Yeah, hopefully I can get a Flame Shield. I really want a Flame Shield. Give me a Flame Shield? Mm, that's not a Flame Shield. That's a Bubble Shield. There! There we go. I really want a flame shield, so I got one. Yay! Now I shouldn't have any problem with this mini boss. Bye bye. Nice knowing ya. Nice way to start out Act 1 with some rings. Anyway, go to our right here and we'll encounter Knuckles again. And our environment changes. Somehow, Mushroom Hill became a desert. I'm not questioning the logic on that one. Just grab the invincibility to your left there. Hopefully I can access the giant ring here. Yeah, we want to go down here. If I can. Yeah, I'm on. Thank you. This one's actually very easy to miss. Take it very slowly through this section. Well, that is, unless you don't want to access the giant ring, which if you don't, I'm cool with that. Anyway, 
Our next one is right here. Yeah, that one's not too hard, but we won't talk about how to perfect it. That one is going to present some challenges in perfecting. Because as you notice off to the right, there was an alcove of rings. Let's just say, if you choose to go after the rings, you're going to have a hell of a time trying to perfect it. Because once you start going really fast, it is very hard to get back into the line of blue spheres. I have actually tried to perfect that one in the past and could never really do it, besides using save states. Anyway, to access the next giant ring, if all goes well, you want to stay on the top path here. Thankfully with Tails, that's actually a lot easier than with Knuckles or Sonic. Anyway, our next one is right here. Six down, one more to go. Anyway, if you want to know a little secret, bounce on this top mushroom here. And yeah, there's a bunch of elemental shields here. The bubble shield doesn't really serve any purpose there, I don't know why it was placed there. But the last shield you definitely want to grab will be the flame shield. And no, we're not doing that. Mainly because if you don't get all the super emeralds in this level, the flame shield will at least offer more protection when you encounter the boss. Anyway, go to your right here, and we'll access the last giant ring. And there's just this one left.
Come on, where are you? There we go. Uh, no, we don't want one to hit bumpers. Bumpers are bad. Especially in conjunction with red spheres. Oh, cool. I'll take two one-ups and a continue. Actually, two continues. Yeah. But we're not gonna access, access that just yet. Yes, I know you're all excited to see what Super Tails looks like, but I'm gonna make you wait. Yes, I am that evil. Anyway, to access that alcove, you need to use the um, left portion of that... I'm not entirely sure what that's called, but okay. Just hop onto the left side. Yes, I know you're all anticipating the use of Super Tails. Not yet. I just want to save it. There we go. Yeah, it's nothing really that spectacular, other than the fact that you have what's known as the Flickies of Doom. Yeah, those Flickies will home in on all enemies on the screen. So super, er, basically Tails doesn't have to do anything. Yeah, it's actually one of the best super forms in the game. Actually, I'd say it's even better than the hyperforms. Other than that, here we are. We're at the animal prison. So it's time to do my conclusion. I'm going to call it here. In the next episode, we shall make our way through Flying Battery. Or Flying Battery Zone, not Flying Battery. Um, I hope everybody enjoys this, and I shall see you in the next episode.